it's me again, Chantal, and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for our video for today because finally, after a few weeks of waiting, my Scan Ambassador kit has finally arrived. This arrived yesterday from Scandia Gear Rotterdam headquarters. Thank you very much for sending this in. So, our video for today is unboxing of my scan ambassador kit and to make it a little more interesting i will answer a few of the questions you sent in yesterday on my facebook and instagram account while i do the unboxing video so if you are ready let's start Okay, so these are the two boxes that arrived yesterday. Before we start, to be honest, these boxes were already pre-opened yesterday because as an SOP, when we receive stores, we always open it and check what is inside. But I did not take a peek yet because I'd really want to have that unboxing feeling and tape it on cams. I reclosed this once so that we can do the unboxing. Let's open box number one. And aside from that, actually, I already received the packing list. I kind of know what is inside this boxes. Okay, time to open this one. Box number one. Okay, first stop, there is a box inside the box. It says here, Ultimate Eye Protection. Let's open. Wow, so Scandia Gear actually sent a whole box of Scan Polarized. Let's go this. Scan. Scan Polarized. So this scan polarized thing is a new product from Scandia. I saw this on their Instagram account and this is not yet on the catalog. Wow! So okay, let's get a closer look. This is scan polarized guys. Let's try this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, so like what I said earlier, while we do the unboxing, I will answer some of the questions that I received yesterday. It's time that we answer the first question. I've written the questions here already. I went through it last night and these are the top questions that I chose and I'll be answering this today. So the first question is asked by Princess Lopez Marqueses. Princess, thank you very much for sending this question in. She was asking, how does it feel to be a seafarer and why did you choose to be a seafarer? Wow, Miss Universe. Uh, to be honest, being a seafarer is tough and challenging, yet also very empowering. It's tough and challenging because, you know, the job here on board is more designed for men. Most jobs require physical work, power, and strength. So it gets tough and challenging at times. So especially when the job that you are supposed to do is heavy and unfamiliar. However, it is still very empowering. You know, to think that you are one of the few female seafarers sailing the seas right now that is an achievement. It's empowering for me as a woman to be able to inspire other ladies with what I do and with what I love to do. That's too hard to be question number one. Okay, so let's continue our unboxing. Our second item is... Dun -dun -dun -dun. Cover all. Wow. So this is the cover all that we use on board this comes in very handy for me because this is the coverall that i use on my daily life on board so if you're familiar with my first year anniversary giveaways this is the price for that giveaway raffle promo you have the choices you can choose this this is called scan rally reflect and this is the normal coverall on board but there is something special about this coverall this coverall is 
fitted and designed for ladies. No more trying to fit on men's clothes. We have our own cover all. Wow. So let's answer the second question, guys. Number two is from Gurleen. Gurleen, thank you very much for being so supportive. His question was, it's not really a question, but he wants to know about my YouTube journey. My YouTube is not yet that big and grand YouTube channel yet. But I am very proud and happy of the things that I have achieved in my YouTube channel. So the inspiration started when I posted one video on Instagram. I would not say it became a hit, but a lot of people appreciated it. It is a how-to video. That's when we realized that I can actually make more how-to videos that can help other third officers and third mates or aspiring third officers can become guide instructional video for them. I did not plan on uploading it on YouTube, but Makoy insisted that I upload it on YouTube get the chance to monetize it. That's one of the goals that we are trying to reach. Makoy and I are working hard so that we can be able to monetize my YouTube. So we are a few more watch hours away from getting monetized guys. So please continue to like, comment, and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's it. Let's proceed to the next item. Now, let's start to open our box number two. Ah, this one feels a little more heavy, so let's see what's inside. We are ready to open this one. It's another cover off! Yay! Nice! This is very cute. So this time, it's white. This, yeah, let me just check. The scan pyrotropic. Wow, look at that, guys. Very beautiful. Uh, also, this is scan pyrotropic. And like the other cover, all this is also designed for women. So, it's personalized! Wow! Thank you very much, Scandia, for sharing your cover all to us, ladies. So, anyways, let's go to question number three. Question number three is from Ned Max. Ned is asking, when are you going home? So that's a question that I myself cannot answer yet. But if you ask me when I'd like to go home, I can answer that next month. Hopefully, because my contract has expired last May due to the COVID situation, I was asked to extend for three more months. So that means the end of my contract is next month. I'm very excited. I hope that it will push through and that I will be able to go home next month. Anyways, that's a very short question. I think we should answer one more. This question is very nice actually. This is from Savvy.SailHer. He, if I'm not mistaken, is the founder of the Sail Her project. So to go visit their Instagram account and see the movement that they're doing to the maritime industry. Savvy was asking what I like the most about sailing. First thing that came up to my mind is sunrise and sunset so i i am a sucker for sunrise and sunsets at sea it's a very magnificent view especially when we are out there at sea and there is nothing else we can see but sea and the sky that is just the best thing that i love about sailing and i love seeing the ocean usually when i have my problems or miss home i get homesick sometimes i just like stare at the sea and try to calm myself down. I hope I answered your question. How about you guys? Let me ask you, what do you love about sailing? Comment that below on our comment box. Okay, let's go to our next item. I see another box inside the box. So this is Sky Hero. This is our safety shoes on board. Wow, so this is the new edition guys. I saw this one on Scandia's Instagram account. And this is the new look of the Scandia look. So this is a safety shoe. So this is toe protection over here. 
and it's lightweight. I am very happy to have this one on my size. I'll be bringing this one next ship because we don't usually have size 38 on board. So when I come aboard, I get the smallest size available. Wait for the next purchase. I can get this on my size. So this is Scanero, guys. To answer another question. Question number five. If given the chance to choose another profession, what would it be and why? This question is from two persons. They asked the same question and I merged their question. From MJ and Carl, thank you very much for sending in this question. So, if I were given the chance to choose another profession, probably a model ako ngayon. <laughs> or maybe a flight stewardess. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's get serious. So if I were given if I were given the chance to choose another profession, maybe I would be a, a I don't know, I can't think of another profession. I can't think of an alternate life right now. I am very happy with where I am right now and I am very happy that I chose this profession. I cannot think of any other way to live my life right now. And one thing pala not able to answer the question on question number one. Why did you choose to be a seafarer? So I'd like to answer this question right now since we are talking about the profession. I chose to be a seafarer because at first I really love to go travel, see the world for free. So that's what enticed me to enroll and be a seafarer myself. But uh, when I started sailing after years of being at sea, I started to think that maybe the seafaring profession chose me. When I think of it, I cannot think of any other profession that would suit me and that fits me well and where I can share and inspire and empower. I think it's the perfect profession for me. But if you really want an answer to the question, probably I'd be a teacher because it runs in the family. There are very many teachers in our family, so probably I would be following that track. But again, I am very happy with this life that I am living right now. So, yeah, that's it. This is the last item inside the box. 